Seven places men love to be touched. Where to touch a guy. Where are the places that men really like to be touched other than the very obvious one? In this video, I'm going to give you seven places that men really love to be touched so that you can drive him wild. We are going to get sexy in this one, ladies, so hold on to your panties. I'm Kevin Anthony for Magnetize Your Man. I am a certified sexologist, NLP practitioner, and sex, love, and relationship coach. And for over 10 years, I have been helping men, women, and couples have the relationship of their dreams and the best sex of their lives. All right, let's dive in. Number one is their chest. I love it when a woman runs her fingers through my chest hair. I happen to have chest hair as many men do, not all men do, but in general we really like it when you do that. Now I will say also, when it comes to touching a man's chest, I have had quite a few women in my lifetime want to touch my nipples. And I believe the reason that is, is because women's nipples are rather sensitive and they enjoy having them touched. And so they think that for us men, it's the same thing, that we will enjoy it too, that it's the same sensitivity. Well, the reality is, it's not. I don't really feel anything more when you touch my nipple than when you touch other parts of my chest. It's all pretty much the same. So it doesn't really add anything for most of us now, you know, there's exceptions to everything. There might be some men who are like, wow, I really love that, that's great. But speaking generally about most men, touching our nipples doesn't really do a whole lot for us. So when I say touch chest, I'm really talking about those pectoral muscles. And I hope that the men that you are touching have at least some pectoral muscles and not just some man boobs. <laughs> but if there are some uh, pectoral muscles there, especially if there's some chest hair, we really like it when, you know, you're snuggling up to us and you're just running your fingers through it and touching our chests. Number two is their back, especially if you've got some nails. I really love it when a woman will take her nails and just gently scratch them up and down my back. I know most men like that also. It is a really nice way, especially when we're embracing for you to add sensation and help turn us on. If done correctly, it can send some serious chills up and down the back and really help create that turn on, that energy that you want when you are, say, in foreplay and getting towards potentially making love, or even not, even if you're just embracing, it's just a pleasurable sensation for us to feel as men. Number three is their pubic hair. This is a really fun one, especially if you've still got clothes on. I absolutely love it when a woman just kind of slides her hand down and is just kind of stroking the pubic hair. Most men these days should still have pubic hair, although that's not always the case. <laughs> But that area in general is still very sensitive regardless of whether or not they have any pubic hair. And it's another super fun one, especially if you've got some nails to kind of just sort of lightly stroke, scratch, touch around in that area. Obviously, it's very close to the penis, so it's going to be highly arousing for most men. Okay, number four is the big obvious one, his cock. Of course, all men love having their touched. Do I really need to say any more about that? Mm, not really, but I'm going to. <laughs> Why is that? Well, because, see, when I'm coaching men how to touch a woman, I always tell them, don't go straight for the genitals. Don't go straight for the breasts. Don't go straight for the nipples. With women, it's best to start in other places, right? Stroke her leg, stroke her arm, the back of her neck, you know, all these other places to warm her up, to get her energy flowing, to sort of titillate her to the point where she wants you to touch those other areas. But with men, you don't necessarily need to do that. Now, I'm not saying you can't do that. You absolutely can. And some of the other areas that I've already talked about are great ways to do that. The back, the pubic hair, the chest, those are all ways that you can start to do that. But with men, you don't necessarily have to. And what do I mean by that? Well, men are perfectly okay if the first thing you do is go straight for the c 
we don't have a problem with it at all. And the, for a lot of men, that's mostly what they want. I personally would prefer a little bit of, you know, touching other places and all of that and then going for it. But a lot of men are perfectly okay. And that is something that is important to talk about in this video because, you know, this channel and the content on this channel is primarily geared towards women. So women, it's important to know that what men want isn't necessarily what you want or what you would like it. In other words, a lot of women think, I don't want him to go straight for my genitals. I don't want him to immediately go there. I want him to, you know, stroke my leg a little bit, touch me in the back of my neck when he kisses me. So then you will often tend to approach men the same way, not realizing that what men want or need may be different. So here it's perfectly okay to do that. And just because you go straight there doesn't mean you have to stay there the entire time, you know? I think it's super hot if, you know, when you come up to a man and you press your body up against his and, you know, give him a kiss and grab his crotch at the same time. We find that a huge turn on. So there's nothing wrong with doing that. But then, of course, after that, you can then go to other places as well and then eventually come back to the later on. Number five is their testicles. Now this is an interesting one because I've seen a lot of women who are very hesitant to really do a whole lot with the testicles. Now this comes from, you know, every movie you've ever seen where guys get hit in the balls and it's like, oh, it's like the worst pain ever, right? If done correctly, it can be extremely pleasurable. Now I will say that there are some men who have extremely sensitive testicles. My wife, Celine, used to work with some of these men to help uh, alleviate the pain that they would experience when anybody themselves or otherwise would touch their testicles. But that's not the norm. Most men won't have that response. And so for the most part, we really like having our testicles touched. It's all about how you do it. So if you're not really sure how to do it, go over to my YouTube channel. My wife has videos on exactly how to do that. That is Kevin and Celine. So if you are gonna go there, which I, I think that you should, just make sure that you are doing it correctly. Make sure that you're touching it uh, in a way that feels good. Don't worry too much. As long as you're not being rough, don't worry too much about hurting him and then pay attention to how he reacts. Just like we always teach men, everything you do to a woman, pay attention to how she reacts. Look at her eyes, look at the expression on her face, look at the color of her skin, look at all of those things. How is she reacting? It's the same thing here. If you wanna go there, just pay attention to how he's reacting to the way that you do it. You would be surprised with healthy testicles how much you can actually do with them, how much you can stretch them, pull on them, uh, you know, touch them in ways that you would think would be really painful, but isn't necessarily painful. It's all in how you do it. Number six is the perineum, and that is the space right below the testicles, but before you get to the anus. It is a very sensitive spot. It's a sensitive spot on both men and women, and it is definitely one that we men like to have touched. Uh, just like I assume most of you women enjoy having that lightly stroked, men enjoy having that lightly stroked also. There is something extra though with men in that area, which is just below that, you can actually feel the inner part of the penis, especially when he's erect. So that can be a very pleasurable place for you to not only lightly touch, but potentially gently massage. And number seven is their prostate. Oh yeah, we're gonna go there in this video. <laughs> Again, for most men, light stimulation on the prostate is very pleasurable. There is sometimes some stigma around that. There are still some men that think that, you know, uh, if they get some sort of prostate stimulation or massage, that somehow that makes them gay. That is very obviously ridiculous. Uh, if you're not aware, you, I assume, realize that the only way to actually 
massage the prostate in any way is internally through the anus. But if done with lube and done correctly, assuming that the man does not have, say, an enlarged prostate or some sort of prostate issues going on, it will likely be a very pleasurable thing for a man. So this, of course, is a little bit more of an advanced skill. Like I mentioned with the testicle massage, if you're not really sure what to do, head on over to my channel, Kevin and Celine, and search for prostate massage videos. My wife has covered that pretty extensively. But it is a, it's a trick that maybe a lot of women don't know, and so it's something that could really add to uh, the experience that you have with your man. And if you combine prostate massage with, you know, stroking his and or his testicles and perineum all at the same time, you can create a lot of very pleasurable sensations. So there you go. There are seven places that men like to be touched. I suggest that you use them all, at least from time to time, change it up a little bit, move from one to the other. And if you forget what these seven places are, remember, you can always just go straight to his He's not going to have a problem with that. Next, if you'd like to hear more from me, you can check out my YouTube channel here at Kevin and Celine, as I've mentioned a few times in this video. You can also listen to the Love Lab podcast on all major podcast platforms. In addition, you can also go to my website, kevinandceline.com forward slash vault and sign up for my free Passion Vault, which is a free library full of resources for you to improve your sex, love, and relationship. All of those links will be in the description below, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, maybe even learned something new.